Hi, I'm Brad Mignani from Cisco High Touch Technical Support. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to enable diagnostic traces that will help troubleshoot issues that may be encountered. Often when calling Cisco TAC, you will be asked to set certain traces prior to reproducing an issue. Let's talk about the difference between macro and micro traces. First, click Cisco Unity Connection Serviceability in the top right navigation menu and click Go. Clicking the Trace menu presents three different options, Configuration, Microtraces, and Macro Traces. The Configuration menu allows administrators to adjust the maximum number of files and the maximum file size that each service will write to the hard drive. It is recommended to leave these set at their defaults unless advised otherwise by Cisco TAC. The Micro Traces menu provides a complete list of all components in the server that are capable of being logged. Micro Trace component names are not always self-explanatory, so it's best to leave these at their default levels unless advised otherwise by Cisco TAC. The Micro Trace component mappings to their corresponding issues are outlined in the Troubleshooting Guide for Cisco Unity Connection under the section labeled Micro Traces for Selected Problems. The Macro Traces menu is the most common way for administrators to enable traces for general issues. Macro Traces are nothing more than logical trace groups for certain features. When enabling Macro Traces, these simply set a predetermined list of Micro Trace level components automatically for you. This leaves the guesswork out of what should be enabled if you have an idea of the general issue you're debugging. It's also commonly required to enable macro traces with additional micro traces to troubleshoot advanced issues more effectively. When it's time to gather the traces from the Cisco Real-Time Monitoring Tool, also known as RTMT, you will need to know which services to gather depending on the issue you're having. For some issues, there are multiple services that are involved. The macro trace component mappings to their corresponding issues are outlined in the troubleshooting guide for Cisco Unity Connection under the section labeled Macro Traces for Selected Problems. If macro and micro traces need to be set back to their default values, this is done under the Macro Traces menu by clicking the Reset to Default button here. Happy troubleshooting and thanks for watching.